Hi my name is Jason Morgan, I'm a wildlife artist, welcome into my studio and on this video I'm going to be painting a tiger but it's going to be in acrylics. Now you've probably seen me in other videos use acrylics before but it's usually just as the underpainting because I like the um, oils to go on top because they open longer and I get a lot more blending time but on this video it's going to be 100% acrylic now if you've seen my previous acrylic video on my YouTube channel I've tested out lots and lots of different type of good quality acrylics and some perform much better than others and the one that I liked better than the others so far is by Schminky now I don't know if I pronounced that correctly probably not but it's called Primacryl and this is the um, tubes that I got. Now this is the actual professional one. So that's called the Prime Acryl Finest Artist Acrylic. And by mistake I also got some of these um, Academy ones. Which are a little bit cheaper. But the problem I found with these are they're that little bit thinner. Now on my videos I usually like to have the palette by the side of the paint in and those thinner paints then started to run down a bit. But they're brilliant paints, they're really fantastic, they're just that little bit thinner. So for me personally I rather the artist thicker ones but other than that they perform really well. And the thing I like about them more than the other acrylics is that when they dry they dry to a slight sheen. Now that's very similar to my alkyd oils and it means that the darks stay more vibrant looking when they dry and they don't go very dull like lots of other acrylics do. So, so far I can really recommend these. I'm, I'll be using slow drying mediums as well to try and make them um, stay open that little bit longer. So I hope you like the video. I think you should check out these primer acrylics. Even if you just buy a single tube or perhaps a dark colour like a black or brown just to try it out next to your own standard acrylics and see if you think they actually look better when they dry. So hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so this is a speeded up version for uh, my YouTube channel. If you're looking for a one hour version of this first part, I've got it on my Patreon channel. So that's patreon.com forward slash wildlife art. And then there'll be a part two of it. And that'll also be around about an hour long on there, around about three or four minutes on here. So basically I'm using the acrylics, I've blocked in the background and now I'm blocking in the stripes. And I do that just so that I can maintain them when I'm actually painting in the underpainting. Otherwise those fine lines that are in there by pencil at the moment which I've sealed, they're just going to be lost and I'm going to lose the shape and the form. So I'm just blocking it in, I've done a brown to start with and I've got a dirty colour for the whites in as well. You don't want to go too white too quickly so basically you don't want to get the highlights in too early in a painting because if you get a real bright white down now then when you want to put your highlights on they're not going to show up at all because everything underneath is going to be white as well so always go darker on your initial layers and build up the brightness and the vibrancy okay so I've cleaned off my palettes because the acrylics are drying pretty fast and I'm just blocking in now the background and the distant parts of the grass as well. Now I've been struggling a little bit with the green and getting it light enough. So I've put the reference photo right by the side. Even though I'm actually working from a reference that's on a screen by the side of me. Now I like to use a screen more often than not these days. Especially on vibrant subjects. Because that allows me to see all the colours and the colour changes much more easily. So I've made up quite a vibrant colour for the sunlit areas on the back of the tiger. And then using burnt umber I've muted that down to get these shadowy areas in. So I'm using a flat bristle brush for virtually all of this. The, the type I use is rosemary and co. Um, but any flat bristle brush that's you know really good quality is going to, to do it and serve you well. And I try to when I load it, I load it to a chiseled edge so that I can get lots of different shapes and sharp marks out of that brush. So re-establishing those darks because they've got a habit of getting lost quite easily. And just put in some highlights but not the brightest highlights yet. I've zoomed in now so you can see some of the details are putting on the face and the teeth and they're a real subdued colour as well, the teeth, because they're in shadow. 
some of the highlights going in although don't forget these are not the final highlights yet so I'm still keeping them very subdued and then the nose base color goes in before I start to re-establish some of the whites and also start to paint over the um, whole of the tiger's body again so I needed to go a little bit darker on the underneath of it and that'll give it a bit more shape and form so that's dry as it is now and with the acrylics obviously it dries very very fast and now you can see how when I'm blocking it in it's looking a lot more solid because it because it's another layer of paint building up on there so that's it for part one. I hope you'll join me on part two and a longer version is on my Patreon channel. If you're looking for more art resources, I really think I've got you covered. I've got a brand new Patreon channel and on there every month I bring out exclusive full length videos for you and also exclusive reference photos with line art. I've got a dedicated website for tutorials, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk, lots of full length videos, some of them up to 8 hours long on there, and there's also ebook tutorials as well if you'd like to read rather than see the videos. I've got a dedicated reference photo website, wildlifeart-online.com, there's over 900 images on there, all for you to use copyright free, and they all come with the Easy Trace line art as well. And don't forget my YouTube channel is growing all the time. If you can possibly subscribe, then you know you're guaranteed not to miss out on any new videos and updates. See you all again real soon.